Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Crystal! Last time we made our way here to the power plant and found out that Repel's effect wore off. No, we found out that some crutter came in here and stole a part, and they're kind of asking us to help them go find it. So, we're going to do that. What we're going to do is head off towards Cerulean City. The guard that was inside there got a call, and it said that there was a shady character somewhere in Cerulean, so I think that's the best place we can check out. So, the first thing we're going to do is surf right back over to Route 9 here, and somehow get no encounters. Hooray! I'm gonna go and put Arthur up front. Alright, let's get to it. So, we've already beat up her, and we can't go up that way because there is a one-way ledge there, so instead we're gonna drop down here. Here, and let's go fight this guy. I'll tell you a secret, but first we battle. Okay, I mean, I guess it's worth the battle if we'll get a secret afterwards, right? Here we're up against Hiker Sydney. He's got two Pokemon. The first one's going to be a Doug Trio. Dude, you could take that to the power plant and trade it for a Magneton. But as we've come to expect from a lot of trainers around around this region, pretty low level, so we're just gonna wreck him with a couple surfs here. Well, one surf for this guy, probably another surf for the second guy. Got him! And here we've got Onyx. Let's go wreck him with surf as well. Down goes Onyx. All right, dude, we beat you. Give me that secret, man. Hiker Sydney was defeated. Defeated. Oh dang, I lost that. Come on, dude, what's the secret? You said you would give me a secret. The power plant is across a small river. Thanks a lot, dude, I've already been there. Well, if we go right over here, there is a secret item. This is going to be an ether. Remember this item for a couple of minutes, because I'm going to explain something about that item. But let's go ahead and move on. There's lots of ledges that we can't, can't really do crud about. So we'll go over here, and I guess we'll fight this guy. I came to explore Rock Tunnel. All right, Camper Dean, he's also got two Pokemon and out comes a Golduck. Maybe not the best battle for Arthur, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Hmm, well, we've only got water attacks, so we'll just go for Surf. It's not gonna be very effective, but that's all right. We'll probably still take him down with two or three of these, I would guess. Let's see, how much do we do? Yeah, it looks like three will do the trick here. He's gonna go for Screech and lower my defense, but even if he lowers it a bunch, we'll be fine. And even if he somehow takes me down, I could just run back to the Pokemon Center, so I'm not worried about it. Do we get a critical? Wow, we actually do! So take that, dude! Two surfs and down he goes! The second Pokémon will be a Sand Slash. That's a lot better for Arthur. Let's go one-shot him with Surf here. Get wrecked, you nerd! Almost 42 on Arthur. Camper Dean was defeated. Whoa, danger, man! Let's talk to him. Do you got a secret for me? My Pokémon were hurt before even entering Rock Tunnel. Wait, you're not even at the Rock Tunnel. What the crud? All right, maybe he came from the other side like I did. So we'll go up here. Now, this is kind of a path that leads back to where we came from, but... We'll go beat up this guy at least. Oh, fight me, dude. She'll be coming round to Mount Silver when she comes. Mount Silver is in Johto, right? I don't actually know because the entrance to it is connected to the Elite Four area in Kanto, but I think you might technically pass over into Johto. I'm really not sure about that. But he does have a Graveler right here, doing the creepy grabby hands. I like one-shotting things with Surf. This is great. Poopoo. Out comes the second Graveler. Kapoopoo. Graveler. Kapoopoo. Take that, Tim. I was too busy singing. Okay. Well, yeah, like I said, this path just leads back to where we already were, so not a whole lot of reason to go over there. I just wanted to fight that guy, steal his money. You know how it is. So we've already beat that guy up as well. Up here is just kind of a dead end, so... Nothing really up there, so let's jump down and keep on going. Now, up here is the way we want to go to actually get back to Cerulean, but let's go down here and uh, beat up her real quick. Actually, she starts off with a neat arena. I think that'll be fine. People shouldn't leave any litter behind. Okay, dang. Your face is a litter. Picnicker Edna. And yeah, she does, like I said, start off with neat arena. I think Arthur can one-shot her still. We sure can! And next up is Raichu. For that, of course, we'll swap over to Pooh and just do Earthquake. Let's see, what level is your Raichu? 34? Dude, I fought level 44 Raichu before. He does a weak Thundershock, doesn't do that much damage, and now we're going to wreck him with Earthquake. Take that, Edna. Oh, I lost. You sure did. That's always my response when they say they lost. Alright, so let's go up past this sign right here. That sign just tells us what route we're on and stuff like that. And let's go beat up this kid. Hey, you, don't litter. Your face is a litter. Camper Sid wants to battle three Pokemon here, starting off with a Doug Trio. Once again, that's going to be a great battle for Arthur. Getting a little bit low on my Surf PP but we still have Waterfall and Whirlpool. Uh, Whirlpool's not going to be that great for killing stuff, but we still have sur uh, six Surfs, so we'll probably be fine. Oh, actually, a second Pokemon is a Primeape, so we're going to go over to Tuix for that. I think Surf would one-shot anyways, but we might as well go make use of the Psychic ability we got before. Use your Psychic powers, Tuix. Let's go, dude. Hit him with those circles, man. Are the circles meant to be like brain waves or something? And I hate to do this, guys, but his next Pokemon is going to be my favorite Pokemon of all, Poliwrath. And I'm sorry, Poliwrath, but we are going to destroy you. Look how cool he is, man. The punches, dude. Well, I'm sorry, Poliwrath, but you're getting wrecked by my circles right now. Down you go, dude. 
Critical hit as well, dang. Campersand was defeated. I was just pointing out. Pointing out what? Okay, so the reason I pointed out that ether we found before is in gold and silver, it's actually right here. It's not over there. Now, I don't always point out- Ah, oh, crud. Uh, oh, oh gosh, why? At least it's the best level. Right, so I don't always point out when items are in different locations in Pokemon Crystal versus Pokemon Gold and Silver, but one of the big resources I use to find out information about where hidden items are is, well, Bulbapedia, and it says that the item was in the tree and crystal as well, which is wrong. So Bulbapedia had the wrong location there. It's it's in the bottom right. Anyways, here we are in Cerulean City. Let's start exploring. I'm a huge fan of Cerulean's, uh, Cerulean Gym's Misty. Huh, well, there's the gym right there. We'll check that out in a bit. This is the Pokemon Gym Leader Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. What the heck? A mysterious blue aura surrounds it. It's talking about the city there. I love this little bit right here. My Slowbro and I make an awesome combination. Let's go, Slowbro, show me your confusion. You right? Huh? <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't look dear. It's kind of funny. It's just a little cute scene. I love dialogue like that. Now, right down here, there's a notice here. The bike shop has moved to Goldenrod City in Johto. So this is where the bike shop used to be, but it's locked now. So I, I guess they changed regions right there. Right here, we've got the Mart. Not really worried about that one. There is some stuff to check out down below here. It's another route. We'll check that out a little bit later. Hey, dude. Kanto's power plant. It's near the end of Route 9. The road that heads east from here. I think there was an accident of some sort there. Yeah, someone stole some crud. I'm trying to find it, man. I think the reason they point that out is that because you could go here from Saffron directly and not go the way I went through Lavender and the Rock Tunnel and all that. So it could be useful for that. For battles, I'd much rather use Pokemon I've been raising, even if they're weaker than some newly caught Pokemon. Okay, dude. I, eh, I could heal to get my PP back, but I'm too lazy, man. Let's just go inside this really long house and talk to this old lady. My husband lives happily with Pokemon he got through trades. Let's see, just how happy is he? Ha, <sighs> I'm so happy. Okay. I guess he's happy, dang. Now this right here, this is like the creepiest sprite, but it is just a zoo bad. It's so spooky looking, dude. And right up here, we've got Kangaskhan. How did Kangaskhan even fit through your door? Oh well, don't worry about that, I guess. Now out here, we do have another route. This is going to be route four, but there are a bunch of one-way ledges, so we can't actually progress backwards or anything. However, this patch of grass right here, at nighttime, you do have a chance to find Clefairy. So if you wanted to catch one of those, there you go. Let's go up some more and find an even longer house. Why are the houses so long here? I don't know, man, but he's still got two trees. Are you collecting Kanto gym badges? Uh. Yes, look at that. It's so long outside, but inside it's just a regular size building. I don't know what's up with that. Normally buildings get bigger when you go in, but that one kind of gets smaller for some reason. The Cape in the North is a good place for dates. Girls like it. Oh, all right, I'll have to keep that in mind. I guess my character's a girl. There's a notice here. Stamp out thievery and make the city a friendlier, more cheerful place. Cerulean Police. I guess this is the Cerulean Police Department. Or maybe that's just a sign from the police. I don't know. What I do know is I am trying to find a thief, so let's go inside. Diglett, are you the thief, dude? I mean, they did steal a bunch of crud in one episode of the anime, but... It's probably not him. We were held up by robbers before. That was three years ago, and it's still all they can think about. I heard that some shady character is skulking about. I won't stand for it, but I will sit for it if he turns out to be a thief. It's a good thing you got lots of stools to sit on here. Well, this house up here doesn't have any doors, so we can't go inside there. Where the crud could this guy be? Well, let's go into the actual gym and see what's going on inside here. Oh, what the? Uh, Team Rocket? Oops, I'm so sorry. You not hurt, okay? I very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. Dude, I I'm somebody. Oh no, you seen me already. I make big mistake. Um, hey you, forget you see me, okay? You see here, no nothing. Okay, bye kid, nothing. Bye bye a go-go. What the crud was that? Well, if we go and explore Cerulean City Gym, you'll find that it's kind of empty. I just want to get a new badge with the crud, man. Well, they said Cerulean's Cape is a good place for dates and girls like it. Misty is a girl. Maybe she's up there on a date. Who knows, dude? I guess let's go check it out. So we'll go past the longhouse right here, and the cape is up to the north. So let's head up that way. But I do want to go over to the side real quick and talk to this guy over here. There used to be a cave here that had horribly powerful Pokemon in it. That is true. What the? What's that noise? What the heck is that, man? My item finder is responding! What the? That's kind of weird. Alright, I guess we'll see if we can find the hidden item at some point. I don't know, dude. Well, let's just go check out the sign here. Cerulean Cape ahead. Yep, that's where we're headed. We're gonna go see if we can find Misty so we can do a gym battle, actually. Let's just go up across the bridge here. Oh, what the? What are you doing here, dude? Hey, kid, me, I'm a Team Rocket member kind of guy. Come from another country. For trainer number one, me. 
Think I did it stop the energy? Be big panic for here, people. Secret it is my mission, so tell you I not. But if when you do versus me, a man I be in, mind secret to you I tell. Hey kid, battle begin we do. Oh gosh, this guy... This guy talks a little bit strangely, but thankfully he's going to be a pretty easy trainer. We've got Rocket Grunt here with just one Pokemon, and it's only a Golbat, and it's also only going to be level 30. Come on, Arthur, let's go wrap this one up here. So, of course, we do a little Surfy Surf action, and one shot, down goes Golbat. Are you here? No, 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 believe it, I can't. Strong very much be you, match I am not to you. Okay, tell you mine secret will I. Machine part steal by me, hide it I did, in gym of the cerulean. Inside water put it I did, look for in water center of gym at, but you forget me not. Beat you for sure will team rocket. Come from Johto will they, mine friends, yes? Will revenge they are. Huh? You say what? Team rocket bye bye a uh, go go? Broken it is, says you. Oh no, should I do what now on from me? <laughs> oh gosh, I am glad that guy's out of the picture, but he did say the machine part is actually inside the gym, so I guess we'll have to wait to find Misty and do that gym battle. Let's go down. Get out of my way, you crud. Actually, I'm going over this way. No, I'm not. The gym's over here. Right, let's go down and let's go see if we can find that thing. He said to look in the middle of the water in the center of the gym. And more specifically, it is the top left of this little square. We look right here. Psycho found machine part. There we go. Psycho put the machine part in the key pocket. All right, so with that, let's go and head back to the power plant and give him the part. Oh my gosh, Ralph. Oh gosh. Well, here we are back at the power plant. Could I ask for your cooperation? Uh, I cooperated, dude. I got the part. Well, we have to go down and specifically talk to the actual director here, or the manager. Ah, oh, yeah! That's the missing part from my beloved generator. You found it. Waha, thanks! Here, take this TM as a reward. Here we get TM-07. And I guess we'll shove that in the TM pocket. TM-07 is my zap cannon. It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wall up. So that attack will have 100 base power. I think in Gen, Gen 4, maybe, they increased it to 120 base power. But in this game, it's 100 base power. And it only has 50 accuracy, but it'll always paralyze. So you could combo that with a lock on. You could combo it with an X accuracy. Cool stuff. But hey, we saved the world. We got the power turned back on. So what do you say we go and check out some stuff, dude? Let's go check out the radio tower back in Lavender Town and see if we can uh, get that expansion card. All right, here we are. Let's go inside the tower. Hey, what's up, dude? You were freaking out last time. We saved your business. Ah, so you're the psycho who solved the power plant's problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. And of course, we will get the expansion card. Awesome. With that thing, you can tune in to the radio prog programs here in Kanto. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. I don't know why he's laughing about that, but there you go. We can also go down here and talk to this guy. Hey there, I am the super music director. I'm responsible for the gorgeous melodies that go out over the air. Don't be square. Grab your music off the air. Okay, buddy. Let's go to the Poke Gear. Let's go check out the radio here. There's not a whole lot of stations we can actually listen to, but if we go up a bit, we'll eventually find... There it is. Places and people. It's kind of a weird station. It's brought to you by DJ Lily, which I don't think is the same Lily from Gen 7, but she kind of lists off the names of people and towns and stuff, and they'll make a little comment on it. Beauty Victoria is right for me. Oh, are you asking them out? Route 12 is sort of okay. And they just kind of go on and on like that. There's also Let's All Sing Fern Poke Music with DJ Fern. Today's Saturday, so let us jam to Pokemon March. So that'll make... It'll just make there be more random encounters. Don't exactly want that. But most importantly, if we go up here, we've got the Poke Flute. So with this, we can go wake up that Snorlax. We're not going to do that for a while, but it is an option. Ah, listen how peaceful that music is. I love the Poke Flute music, but it is time to go back over to Saffron because now the Magnet Station, or the Magnet Train, should be working. I forget if I already commented on this, but a lot of people have asked why I don't ride the bike more often, and the reason is simply that I don't like that it overwrites the town music. I really like hearing the town music a lot, so I tend to not ride the bike too often. All right, here's the magnet train. We'll soon depart for Goldenrod. Are you coming on board? Heck yeah, I am. Sorry, but you don't have a pass? What do you mean I don't have a pass, dude? I'm the one responsible for fixing this crud. The least you could do is give me a pass. Gosh dang. All right, I guess we'll have to find another way to get a pass or something. Well, let's go inside the copycat's house and let's go talk to her. Of course, she'll transform into me. Hi, did you really lose your Poké doll? 
You'll really give me a rail pass if I find it for you? Sure, I'll look for it. You think you lost it when you were in Vermilion? Right, so this girl lost her doll and it's somewhere in Vermilion. And if we find it, she'll give us a rail pass. Now we saw a doll back in Vermilion. Do you guys remember where it is? Right, it's here back in Vermilion City in the Pokemon fan club. There's a random Clefairy doll right here just chilling. So let's go talk to this guy. Let him know that this doll doesn't belong to him. I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one. So I'm making do with a Poke doll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost this Poke doll is sad. Okay, could you take this Poke doll back to that poor little girl? I'll befriend a, Cle a real Clefairy on my own one day. No worries. All right, and there we get the Poke Doll. And for some reason, it's actually called the Lost Item, not the Poke Doll once we actually have it. Okay, let's go take that item back to the little girl. By the way, if you talk to the people inside the uh, train station, as well as inside the little girl's house, the copycat girl's house, they'll actually comment on how they tore down the copycat's original house back from Gen 1, and they built the station in its place, and now they moved their house to down here. Well, let's go talk to her and give her her doll. Yay, that's my Clefairy Poke doll. See the tear where the right leg is? Sewn on, that's proof. Okay, here's the magnet train pass like I promised. And here we get the pass. So now we can take the magnet train and go back and forth from Johto and Kanto very easily anytime we want. So she says right here, the real company gave that to her when they tore down our old house for the station, right? So that's kind of what's going on with that. I don't know how you're supposed to know she gives you the rail pass, but there you go. So we got that done. Let's go and see if we can actually ride the train, because there actually is something I want to do in Goldenrod. We'll soon depart for Goldenrod. Are you coming on board? I'm going to hit yes. I'm not going to talk over this, because I want you guys to hear how intense this train music is. May I see your rail pass, please? Okay, right this way, please. All right, here we go. Is that intense or what, dude? It's a really short ride, but here we are in Goldenrod City. So yeah, now we can go back anytime we like, super, super easily. The, the uh, Magna Train runs all times of day. You don't have to wait for a certain day. But the reason I wanted to come back here is on Wednesdays and Saturdays, after you've entered the Hall of Fame by beating the Elite Four, there will be this guy. Let's go talk to him. I can teach your Pokemon amazing moves if you'd like. Should I teach you a new move? All right. It will cost you 4,000 coins. You get the coins from inside the game center, which is, or the game corner, which we're right next to. I don't have 4,000, so we're going to have to go get that. Now, I could play a bunch of arcade games to make that happen, but I'm going to go back to mom, get a bunch of money, and then come back and buy them. It costs 10,000 Poke Dollars to buy 500 coins, so to get 4,000, we need about 80,000. Hi, mom. Give me my money. Let's see if I can do math properly and only take out what I need here. I think this is right. I don't know if I forgot to carry the one or something. Let's go check. Oh, gosh dang it. I forgot to carry the one, so we've got 100 extra. Not that it matters. I don't think we'll actually use all 80,000 anyways, because we do already have like 240 coins. Yeah, okay, we'll just go into the counter right here, and I'm going to buy lots of coins. Going to spend almost all my money right here. So 1,000 for 50 coins or 10,000 for 500 coins. I'll go ahead and buy a few rounds of these, and then I'll finish up with a few 50s right here. We're going to have a few excess coins, but that's all right. And now let's go talk to this guy. It'll cost 4,000 coins. Sure, I've got it. You won't regret it. All right, then. So here he can teach us flamethrowers. Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Awesome. The move I want to learn is Ice Beam. I want to teach that to Arthur in place of Agility. Actually, that's the only move I can even get rid of because the rest is all HMs right now, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Agility. Now, Icy Wind was an okay Ice Attack, but Ice Beam is fantastic. So now if we fight dragons in the future, or even just like flying Pokemon, it'll be really handy to have. Now, once you do that, he walks inside and, well, he's actually nowhere to be found inside here. So he is gone. So you'll have to come back again on another Wednesday or another Saturday to get some more moves there. But that is all I wanted to do here in Goldenrod City. The big question is, if we go to Cerulean's Cape, will we find Misty? Will we be able to find out if she's on a date? And can we actually battle her? And what the crud was that guy's item finder doing? Will it be a cool item or just some junk? Be sure to come back next time for all of the answers. I'll see you all then. Take care.